put subsidy to the farmers whose crop got damaged is in process. The government has identified horticulture sector as one of the growth engines that drives agricultural economy. Increasing the production, productivity and quality of various horticulture crops coupled with value chain development and marketing linkages for better price realization are some of the key strategies intended to help in increasing net returns. An area of 5,83,240 hectares has been brought under horticultural crops in the last four years, duly diversifying the crops by replacing less remunerative crops like upland paddy, tobacco, sugarcane, casuarina, eucalyptus, etc. Andhra Pradesh is the first state to announce MSE for, for horticulture crops, that is banana, turmeric, onion, sweet orange, chilies, over and above the coverage of GOI. Andhra Pradesh is the lastest, largest producer of fruits in the country, contributing 15.6% of the total country's food product, fruit production. The state ranks first in productivity of oil palm, papaya, lime, coconut, cocoa, tomato, chilies, and second in mango, sweet orange, cashew, and turmeric in India. Andhra Pradesh state stands at second place in the country after Gujarat in micro-irrigation implementation. So far, an area of 35.85 lakh acres has been covered under micro-irrigation in all the 26 districts in the state since inception benefiting 12.74 lakh farmers. Over the years, livestock sector, uh, sector is known to offer consistent income even in adverse seasonal conditions. The state takes pride in the country for housing world-renowned livestock breeds like Angol and Punganur cattle, Nellore sheep and Asil poultry. My government has put in place several initiatives to increase the income of farmers through productivity enhancement of animals, ensure remunerative prices to the livestock products, and make the fodder resources available to the farmers. The state stands first in egg production, fourth in meat production, and fifth in milk production in the country during 2022-23. Andhra Pradesh stands first in the total fish production in the country with 30% share and contributes 31% to seafood exports value of the country. The Government of India has the Government of India has awarded Andhra Pradesh as the best marine state for the year 2022-23. About 2.12 lakh hectares of area is brought under aquaculture and producing more than 75% of the cultured shrimp in the country, making Andhra Pradesh state as the aqua hub of India. With an award aim of welfare and development of fishermen families, the government has enhanced the ban relief paid during the marine fishing ban period under YSR Matsyakara Bharosa to rupees 10,000. So far, our government has dispersed an amount of rupees 540 crores directly into the bank accounts of 2,43,394 eligible beneficiaries. The ex gratia being given to deceased fishermen family in case of death of active fishermen while fishing has been enhanced from 5 lakh to rupees 10 lakhs. The state government has increased the subsidy on diesel oil from rupees 6.03 to rupees 9 per liter, covering 20,034 fishing boats, incurring an amount of rupees, of rupees 128.27 crores so far. The government has also spent rupees 3,186.36 crores so far to benefit 61,682 aqua farmers towards power tariff concessions 
35 integrated aqua labs are being established across the state with an expenditure of rupees 50.30 crores to ensure quality aqua products. Development of mother and child and women empowerment. Andhra Pradesh is committed to focus on empowering women and use their capabilities in the state building process in a more effective way, ensuring them of proper health, nutrition and hygienic ambience. The state is also committed to improving child health care and nutritional intake for enabling them to become better citizens by promoting social, emotional, cognitive development of the child through Anganwadi services. The services are being provided through 55,607 main and mini Anganwadi centers in Andhra Pradesh to address malnutrition and anemia. YSR Sampurna Poshana plus in tribal subplan mandals and YSR Sampurna Poshana in plain areas is being implemented by the state government. Through these programs, a total of 6.4 lakh pregnant women and lactating mothers, 28.62 lakh children of 6 to 72 months age are getting benefited. As part of reaching each and every beneficiary, state government has been providing all the commodities at as take-home ration, a significant investment of rupees 6,688 crores has been made under these schemes positively impacting 35.70 lakh beneficiaries. My government has procured and distributed rupees 21,082 crore worth of growth monitoring devices to all the Anganwadi centers in the financial year 2023-24 to improve nutrition and reduce the risk of inadequate nutrition and for early detection of growth disorder. For safe transport of mothers and their newborns from government hospitals to their homes post-delivery, my government has procured 500 Talli Bidda express vehicles costing rupees 71 crores. This initiative has benefited 3,27,289 mothers with a view to improve and reinforce the women empowerment efforts and strengthen the economic development of the poor SHG women in both rural and urban areas. My government has been implementing the YSR ASARA program. The objective of the scheme is to reimburse the entire bank outstanding loan amount as on 11 4 2019 directly to the group savings account of the SHG women in four installments. So far, 7,98,395 SHGs consisting of 78.84 lakh women got the benefit of an amount of rupees 25,571 crores over a period of four years. The growth of SHG bank linkage in the state of Andhra Pradesh is phenomenal. AP state stood in the first position in the country with 30% national share with 99.83% recovery under SHG bank linkage program with yearly bank linkage disbursement of above around rupees 30,000 crores in both rural and urban areas. With an intention to encourage better repayment culture, economic empowerment and to reduce interest burden on the rural and urban self-help group members on their bank loans, my government has been implementing the YSR Sunnavaddi scheme so far, an amount of rupees 4,969.05 crores was dispersed to 9,76,119 SHGs in four <coughs> installments. YSR Cheyuta is yet another important scheme specifically targeted towards the welfare of the women in the state. It is a unique welfare program to extend financial assistance of rupees 75,000 in four years continuously at the rate of rupees 18,750 per annum to the same poor women belonging to SC, ST, BC and minorities 
in the age group of 45 to 60 years towards livelihood purposes. Through this scheme, nearly 26 lakh families will be engaged in the vibrant livelihoods by utilizing the direct assistance of rupees 18,750 every year and by raising additional finance through linkage and Nidhi. So far, an amount of rupees 14,129 crores has been dispersed to 26.39 lakh beneficiaries. Fourth instance.